carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away, and I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, I even managed to make some progress with my paper. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used flour or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <laughs> but after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved Wisdom Warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, oh, oh. I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a Senior Immortus Scholar. Hyman's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life! You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, I think I might have overexerted myself, though. I'm flagging hard. Uh, let's go see Missy Eye before I crash. Uh... than I expected. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose our hanging right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Uh, Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Uh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. 
The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's... time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now, and do everything that Hania says. But Zara, Mika will be back to visit when the next Beast Teamers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's, and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. <laughs> <laughs>